Shifting sands are at my command. Azim Ka, the Forgotten. The storm in the sky listened to his breathing, and the sand all over the ground obeyed his will. As the ruler of the desert, Azim Ka has incomparable power. He is one with the wind and sand. In the desert, there is no opponent who can match him now. Some fear Azim Ka and regard him as a god, while others just loathe him, but Azim Ka couldn't care less. His kingdom, like a newborn child, was built on the broken walls of the empire, like stepping on the corpse of a giant, gaining a higher starting point and a broader vision. And Azim Ka wants more than just being a desert lord. Sand Trap Azim Ka's skills inflict a mark on enemies for 5 seconds. Enemies with 3 stacks of Sand Trap are turned to stone. Sand Punch Azim Ka summons Quicksand at the target location. After a short delay, the Quicksand deals damage to enemies within range and knocks them into the air. Dust Devil Azim Ka sends a Sandstorm towards his enemies. It bounces between them and deals damage. Subsequent hits to enemies deal half damage. Sand Ray Azim Ka sends off a Sand Grasp in the target location, pushing away the enemies in its path. When reaching the end, it forms a circular area, dealing damage to the enemies in the range and slowing them down. Focus on maxing skill 2 followed by skill 1, meanwhile leveling the ultimate when you can. Azim Ka is a mage in the back row, with a great ability to control enemies and to output damage. Being unable to shift position is his Achilles heel. So in group fights, you should make sure to keep in safe distance with your enemies to deal damage and cause control effect. Azim Ka is rather suitable to clean the lanes and this gives him time and ability to support his allies in different locations. There is a short delay when releasing Azim Ka's skill 1 and skill 3, so you should predict the enemy's position when releasing these skills. At the same time, make sure to inflict marks on the enemies with skill 1 and skill 2 to turn them into stones by using passive skill. When skill 3 is released, the enemy along the way will be pushed away, so when the enemy hero wants to get close, you can use this skill to push the opponent away, then use the control effect from skill 2 and skill 1 to escape or counter kill. Try to release skills when your enemies are in a concentrated position to control as many enemies as possible, and this is more convenient to cooperate with his teammates in output. <laughs>